Tumerejea hii ni Chief na Sky Minute of Frederick Bundala Skywalker nipo na Elnest Napoleon filamu mpya ambayo inatarajiwa ku uh, watu wengi sana inaitwa Peponi ambao Elnest vile vile ni mwigizaji ndani. Kwa so, umeiona filamu trela yake hicho ni kionjo tu. Elnest wengine wanatoaga trela ya kwanza, trela ya pili. Hii ndio ya kwanza ama ndio ya, ya, ya jumla jumla. Ah natengemea te, na mimi kusema kweli mimi nimeona kama story imeleka kwenye trailer moja i think i think inachotokea kwa ni watu wanatoa trailer moja trailer mbili yeah. especially kwa nje yes naiona sana sababu mm. kila nchi na vitu vyake maelewa kama china mfano yeah. kuna wagizaji ambao hawapendi na kuna wagizaji ambao wanawapenda na china ni market kubwa ndio maana lazima tuwe trailer ya marekani na trailer ya china oh. Sometimes wanafanya hata ubaguzi na kutoa labda mweki the black person sana okay. kwenye trailer ya China hata hata ukiangalia poster wanazibadilishaga poster mm. ya China sio sawa sawa na poster ya Marekani. Okay. Kwa I think kutokana na market yao ni global zaidi. Mhm. Ndio maana wanafanya hivyo. Au sometimes anza katoa trailer au atakaje kubali wakatoa nyingine. Okay. So I think Black Panther alitoa trailer kama tatu mbili. I think trailer za kwanza zikuwa as nice as the last one. Mm. Sometimes the trailer tunatoka utaona movie ni kali kuliko trailer wala mwa wa shoot nyingine. Okay. Unaweza tuka tukaweza la promo. Hizo na kutoa matrailer mengi story nzima mtu anakuwa anaijua. Yeah, 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 Unaweza kwenda kwenye theater. Unakuwa umesha kama ume spoil vitu yeah, vingi. Yeah, I think the trailer tu iko okay in yeah. terms of kuelezea story ndani ya dakika mbili ambazo mm. ni chache tumeelezea I think vizuri story na usu nini na kitu kama hicho. Okay. Yeah. So peponi ni filamu ambayo wakati na unaitiz yeah. uh, ndio mrefu sana kama miaka miwili imepita sasa yeah, yeah. na sasa hivi ndio inakuja yeah. kwa nini imechelewa hivi ha ah, kulikuwa na changamoto nyingi moja hapo liko ni kwamba budget ilipitiliza kidogo mm. ah, na kuna investors walijitoa katikati oh. kwa commit vitu okay. kwa tukasema tu shoot au tusi shoot kwa sababu tutapata ela nusu ela nusu nyingine inasema nakuja au itakuja kwa hiyo kuna budget budgetary stuff mm. at the end of the day na shoot we shoot 2019 because 2020 ndo nene corona yeye yeah, yeah. manela sasa corona kipindi cha corona nacho kawa ni kigumu eh uh, kwa investments because mm. watu wengi kwa wajui dunia inaenda wapi mm-hmm. na sio kwa mambo ya filamu i think kwa dunia nzima ilikuwa ni ngumu kwa na proposal yako yote matajiri wako po, um, they don't want to commit to anything yeah, yeah. so hiyo ndio sababu kubwa alafu baadaye tu vitu hivi director alifiwa eh, tulikabadilisha ma editor vitu changamoto tu za kawaida ndio nilifanya chelewa mm-hmm. um, lakini kwa wazetu ni normal unajua na kwa wazetu ni vitu vingine kwa wazetu anza kwa shoot movie mpaka mwisho wakaiangalia wakaonyesha wakaitest wakasema hii hapana irudiwe wakairushiti upya umeelewa sasa yeah, yeah. lakini sio changamoto hizo tulizopata sisi lakini movie kuchelewa ni normal mm-hmm. thing hata Hollywood movies na chelewa okay yeah. so so story ya peponi ni nini story ya peponi first labda nirudi kwenye idea ya peponi okay. idea ya peponi ilipata uh, kuna speech moja ya uh, hayati rais John Pombe Magufuli oh. aliongelea alisema kwamba kuna watu wanaishi hapa kama wako peponi. I think ile kuhusu mama Fisadi na Oh yeah. Yeah hiyo ndio nilipata initial story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. inspiration kutoka kwa ile speech. Yeah, inspiration yani peponi na idea ilikuwa ni kwa ile speech kwa okay. sababu okay. and then at, at the same time nilikuwa nataka kufanya crime drama. Tukaza mm. mani kwa nataka mm. kufanya crime kwa sababu nimefanya drama, movie yangu kwanza nimefanya drama, Going Bongo kwa drama tu. Yeah, yeah. Kiume ilikuwa ni comedy. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kufanya crime. Mm. Manila, next labda nitafanya action. I don't know. So nilikuwa nataka kufanya crime. Kwa hiyo nikasema uh, hii speech yake most criminals. Kusema kwa nini ningeweza kufanya story ambayo inahusu baadhi ya watu ambao ni fiction of course yeah. ambao labda walikuwa walipiga wali, wali, wali za hela nyingi afu kaishi maisha fulani alafu baadaye mm-hmm. mambo yakabadilika katika maisha. And then also nikaika relationship part as well kwa always kuna mtu mmoja alinifundisha anaitwa Ian Smith. Mm. Ni producer movie nyingi kubwa sana. Mm. Scottish, amtengeneza Mad Max, amtengeneza 24, ana sawa movie zake nyingine. Movie nyingi sana kubwa. Ah, um, aliniambia kwamba every story is a love story. Mm. Manila, kusema kwamba nusu ya audience ni wanawake. Okay. Na wanawake kijingia theater wanaangalia relationship zaidi kuliko si tunaangalia watu na wana wanapigana. Lakini wanawake bi, mostly wanaangalia relationship kati ya huyu na huyu. I think this is your relationship ya kimapenzi yeah, 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 yeah. Kana mbia, every story is a love story. Sawa, so, ukiangalia movie kama Titanic. Mm-hmm. Ni action movie. Sawa, so, ilikuwa action movie ambayo ime gross sana nyingi. Lakini kuna love story. Ya yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio na Will Binti. Mm-hmm. Avatar. Kuna love story. Every story is a love story. Kwa this is no different. 
hii inayo love story ambayo na usu kijana ambayo anaishi maisha ya chini ambaye ana struggle kimaisha the mwake ana stress anaambia utatoka lini unajua na miaka inaenda mm. uh, baadaye anafanikiwa kupata kazi lakini hiyo kazi sasa ndio anafanya kazi na watu wanaopiga deal kwa oh. ghafla anatajirika ghafla maisha yake anachange anakuwa yeah. mazuri yeah. lakini uh, maofisa wana mlaka anamwambia bwana wewe wende utatunani utatupa information zote mpaka u boss akamata kwa sababu ile group gang lao mm. wako tight sana ni ngumu uh, police ku infiltrate. Mm. Kwa wanamtumia sa jamaa ku infiltrate. Uh, ilo gang. Mm. At the same time jamaa they are dangerous. Unajua ni watu wa guns mdao. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kwa hiyo ndio in short. Okay. Kwa kulisimulia oh, yeah. like Aisha. Smalizo utamu. Smalizo utamu. So so wewe ni sisi wa watazamaji wa filamu wa Kiswahili tunaita maadui ama villain. Wewe ni adui? Yeah, ni villain. Yeah. Okay. Anta, uh, kwenye kwenye antagonist na antagonist. Oh, yeah, kwenye yeah. story tunaita antagonist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mtu mbaya kwenye filamu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think ni kwangu mimi ni kasi ni easier. Always ni easier ku correct mtu mbaya kuliko mtu mzuri. Kweli? Kweli kwa sababu mtu mzuri ndo hero, si ndio? Mm. Na movie namfuate. Mtu mzuri kwenye movie nyingi anakuwa ni boring. Anaboa. Ana ni sio anaboa like, lakini natakiwa anatakiwa na very careful jinsi anavyoigiza. Ah. Sio menelea kwa sababu watu wako naye. Yeah. Lakini mtu mbaya ni mtu mbaya tu. Sio menelea anaweza kawa na wana ufundi wake lakini mtu mtu mzuri yani kama anaibeba ana ukienda kuangalia movie na muangalie yeah, yeah, yeah. unapitia movie kuangalia kufichia macho yake. Yes. Kwamba mimi niliyefanya vipi kwenye situation. Mm-hmm. Sio menelea. Mm-hmm. Kwa actually kuigiza kama do is easier than kuigiza kama protagonist I think for yeah. me at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uko wewe of course na Asteria Mvungi yeah. ambaye ameigiza kama ndio mke wa yeah, yeah. love interest to a hero, I, wa yeah. hero yeah, yeah. ambaye ni sio mwigizaji wa mdomo mrefu sana yeah. lakini ambaye anapendwa sana yeah, yeah it's funny kwa sababu anaitwa nani by the way nani Asteria Mvungi no uh, main character Isarito yes yeah. ni, ni, ni yuko kwenye series ni yeah. kwa mfano juu wakali huyu mwana yeah, nyingine yeah. nyingi but this series anaanza kufanya now tuko oh. shoot nine before okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uli... interesting kitu ni kwamba mm. unajua Tulianza kufanya casting ya ile movie. Mm. Watu wananiambia oh bro mimi nataka kuigiza. Yaani na message DM nyingi, email nini. Kwa nikasema okay, hii movie tutafanya open casting. Yeah. Tutafuta wagizaji kama miezi miwili mitatu kama unakumbuka. Watu kibao wakaje. Lakini at the end of the day watu tuliwapata ni watu ambao tunafahamu. Ah. Yeah, kama stori ya mvungi na mfahamu tokea yuko kwa Milad. Yes. Isarito nishaona kazi zake before. Kuna mwingine anaitwa Idrissa Muhammad najua kazi yake before kuna mwingine aitwa Hans Mponzi na mgeni yeye walikuwa kwenye kiume so then ndio japo ulifikia casting la kawaida watu ndio wapata ni watu ambao nimewaona before nimeona kazi zao before sio menelewa yani kwa, kwa nini ilikuwa ngumu kupata wapi ya i think ufundi unachukua muda oh. na by the time uko fundi nishakuwa na same sio menelewa mm. ufundi unachukua muda yani it's like hata mimi nilikuwa naigiza ni miaka kumi na tano iliyopita sio sawa sana sasa hivi. That means utaniona kwenye kazi na kuendelea yeah. nene. Kwa sababu mm. kuna kipaji uchopewa na Mungu. Alafu kuna sasa na mchezaji mpira sasa mm. kama Ronaldo. Sasa mchezaji mzuri. Kina kwa 17 hakuwa kama sasa hivi. Sio umeelewa? Yeah. Kwa hiyo kuna kipaji uchopewa na Mungu alafu kuna mazoezi na training ya Manchester United na vitu kama hivyo. the same katika uigizaji. Mtu anaweza kawa na kipaji cha kuigiza lakini inabidi aanze kuigiza sasa. Mm-hmm. Sio umeelewa? bila na akianza kuigiza vile anavyokuwa 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 utamwona tu same anavyofanikiwa kwa hiyo uwezi kushindana naye umeelewa utashindana naye lakini utashindwa kwa sababu yeye yeah, yeah. ni fundi katika hiyo vitu yeah. okay. kwa hiyo uigizaji sio umeamka tu asubuhi kaja kuigiza ni ufundi vile vile sasa ana sema tu katika tasnia yetu unaja tuchukue mfano wa dokta sawa by the time wewe unaenda hospitali unakutana na dokta yule dokta ashasoma medical school miaka mingapi sita saba mm. ashafanya practical kwa hata kukutana na dokta yeyote hospitali at least kuna standard. Uigizaji na uandishi is the same. It's just that watu wote wana ma degree yeah, yeah. but it's the same by the time nakutana na Lulu nakutana na Wema nakutana na Gabo an experience an experience kubwa ya. Yeah. Yeah. Anaweza kawa na kipaji cha kuzalia kwa sababu mtu kama Lulu I think alianza mdogo sana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now ukiongeza na experience combine unapata uzuzu mimi na it's like yeah, yeah kama JZ anavyosema JZ JZ anamsema mmoja anasema kwamba watu kila siku wanampata uh, wanataka kumpa advice mm. kuhusu music eh. anasema sawa unaweza kunipa advice lakini ukumbuke mimi swala la music nafanya 
30 years now na kila siku nikiamka nikiamka kichwa changu kinakiumiza kuhusu mambo music yeah. kwa the chance yao kunipa idea ambayo kanishika mm, kidogo sana na katokea yeah, yeah, lakini idea yeah. ambayo nipa mimi ni chef kilia kama mara kumi from all angles nimeshaona yeah. kama ni mbovu okay. so it's the same okay. Yeah. Okay. so so ilikuwaje uh, uh, kuigiza so, kuigiza nao yeah i mean these guys are good yeah mm. good i mean niwafanya training ah. kwa sababu ugizaji wa kibongo still sio kama ugizaji na kutoka mimi kwa hiyo still niwafanya training ukoje ukoje ugizaji wetu Well, unaweza kuona scene moja dakika tano ama kitu kinachoendelea. Okay. Si umeelewa? <laughs> si kama unaelewa, yani um, sasa katika ugizaji wa wenzetu ni kwamba every couple of minutes, every minute something inabidi kitokea otherwise mtu ataboreka. Si yeah, umeelewa? Yeah, yeah. Maongezi yetu yanaweza kaanza friendly baada ya sekunde 30 yaka ya ya move kwenye we not friendly anymore mm. baada ya sekunde ya mia, Uh, mia tukatoleana guns alafu baada ya dakika nyingine tukawa marafiki mm, mm, so emotionally unaenda kwenye up and down up and down up and down kitu ambacho kiangalia series za kibongo au za kibongo watu wako kwenye same emotion mtu amekasirika tu mkangu ana hasira tu dakika 10 unaangalia mnena sio so ni ugizaji ambao ni tofauti ambao uh, okay. lazima mtu akifanya kazi na mimi lazima ni mtrain kidogo ni mwelekeze script hapa bwana eh hapa huu jamaa kishafanyikiwa iki kitu. Mm-hmm. Kwa kwanza hapa yuko Melo. Nikupe mfano, nikupe yeah. mfano. Mimi na mke wangu tunaangalia movie sana ndio yeah. Walevi. So yeah. nimemuonesha trailer. Yeah. Uh, wamependa sana kwa sababu yeah. ni rahisi kuona kuna ufundi kwenye trailer. Yeah. Bila shaka hata umeona. So kuna ile sema Asteria ameshika mpira wa kiume anamwambia. Yeah. Yuni yeah. analipomwambia amemwambia ame come. Yeah, exactly. no, eh, yeah. Kwa kawaida ninapozijua yeah. movie za kibongo ing ange shout wewe nini yani pange ange tano asira asira kubwa eh yeah. ukiona asira kubwa unashindwa kuongea kwa wewe usikongea yeah sure sure usikongea sure. 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 na macho yetu blink yeah manela uko kwenye shock yeah utakuwa movement zako zitakuwa ni very subtle mm. sauti yako inaweza kama tusemeka kidogo yeah, yes manela so mzaji yes. wa kupitia kelele mm. yani ni, ni katika mafunzo ya mzaji ambaye umechukua first day mwalimu anakuambia eh anakuambia kupiga kelele na kukasirika ni kitu rahisi sana kwa binadamu okay. sababu binadamu muda wote ana stress yeah. kwa hiyo ukiona igiza hiyo eh. hiyo ni motion yako ya kwanza ambayo utaenda okay. don't do that ah uh-huh. class number one, first day of acting don't do that Kongo na ukiangalia okay, okay, katika movie mm. hizo sehemu za kukasirika zipo lakini zipo very specific place labda mwishoni mwa movie oh. also binadamu hawezi kumwangalia binadamu mwenzie kwa muda mrefu akiwa amekasirika okay. mm. kuna emotion na yanapata uncomfortable mm. anakuwa uncomfortable yeah kwa kimoja kwamba hawezaji hawajui kuigiza that's number one. okay hawajui emotion yote za ile asira kwa sababu asira ni rais rais yeah. mimi kusema we anaona anaweza kufanya hivyo lakini kuniambia sasa hivi embu be charming it's difficult yeah bii nini emotion nyingine ni ngumu kidogo chini emotion ya sira rais ndio maana wazaji wote wanaona wanakimbilia kwenye sira lakini ukipata mafunzo proper mm. naambia asira ni kitu ambacho ni very specific kwenye movie mm. ukiangalia movie yote itakuwa ni kwenye dakika ya mia huko karibia na mshoni wa movie yani yule character amejengwa amejengwa mpaka amefika kichwani mm. wanakuwa napi hata kwenye movie yetu iko scene ya sira lakini nikaribia na mwishoni yani jamaa vitu vishampanda na by the time unaona una expect unasema hata mimi hapa ninge yeah yeah na lose my mind and you appreciate it because umeijenga tokea mwanzo mm. umeijenga stress tokea mwanzo lakini si naanza tuna hasira na mke wako dakika 10 that's that's uh, yeah. okay so yeah. vitu kama hivyo yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 kwa uko ukabidi wa, wa train kidogo na wanafundishika kwamba watu wana change kabisa na waka deliver sio asiwezi kumchukua mtu ambaye mm. hayuko close kwa sababu na mimi sina muda huo mimi ni okay. writer ni producer uh, sometimes na, na sometimes nasaidia kwenye mambo mengine ambayo sitaki kuyataja watu watu wana kazi zao na okay. zina, 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 mm. na naigiza so by the time you meet me inabidi uwe karibu you have to be close mm-hmm. some are close than others yeah yeah uh, mtu kama Asteria na Isarito you know they're very close mm. they are very close yani they're close yani ni kitu kwa push tu hapa yeah, bwana yeah. ni marekebisho madogo madogo ambayo hata sasa sana ukiona timu ya mpira yani 
kocha anaweza kama mzuri lakini kama wachezaji ni wabovu mm. unapoteza yeah, mbele lakini kuchukua mchezaji ambaye tayari uko levels ni kichapo kurekebisha bwana hapa usitoke namba tatu kama <laughs> ujamaa kija yeah, yeah. yeah, ni vitu vidogo vidogo kwa sababu we don't have time mimi nilichukua mm-hmm. i think miezi miwili kwa train mm. na mostly niko ponje so nilikuwa kwa sim most of the time yeah nilikuwa na mwigizaji kutoka Kenya Shelin Wangari ambaye yuko kwenye Bashita na alifanya ile ya yeah, ni mwigizaji mweka mingi sana Kenya ameigiza ile grader first grader yeah okay na katika nafasi yake nilipata shida sana kupata mwigizaji hapa ah oh. pata shida sana atukupata na yeye kawaida wanaact kama kama msichana tu ambaye wavulana wanafatafata lakini ile role alikoponi kama moja hapo ya secretary ambaye yuko na sikujua kama ataweza kuigiza hivi okay anuiza tu siku moja naona mtafuta mwigizaji mnapata shida sana ambaye ile role imekuwa shida sana kaniambia msubi ni kutumie eh, nini casting yangu interview yangu kaniambia sawa tu lakini yani kama hawezi kwa sababu nishazoea kumuona katika role fulani fulani yeah, yeah. ambazo ni kama kisichana kinini eh akatuma hiyo nikasema huyu huyu 100% okay sema itabidi tutumlete kutoka Kenya kwa sababu hii role imeshindikana kwa bongo imeshindikana mm. labda ningetafuta zaidi oh, yeah uh, labda watu wengine ongeza lakini hawakuwa available. Okay. Uh, kama iko anataka kama Lisa kwenye role lakini I think alikopoa anasafiri. Uh, Sometimes anaweza kumtaka mtu but they are not available. Uh, Time has yeah, sure. now mkashindwa na Ella or something like that. Au ana kazi sem nyingine inabidi respect mm-hmm. move on. Some projects inabidi endelea. Yeah, yeah. The movie is bigger than the actors. Movie ndio inachagua actors, sio actors wanachagua movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, timing lini inatoka? Ah uh, iko iko tayari and right now to negotiate too nataka to ingia kwenye theater proper kama oh. yeah and then to kuna nataka kufanya premiere nchi nyingine ah uh, kuna nataka kufanya premiere Cape Town for example lakini Cape Town wanaanza kwenda kwenye level 3 ya covid yeah yeah uh, na nchi kama South Africa utaki ku stack kwa sababu South Africa unajua wasafiri sana mm. kwa kuwa fungeni ndani ya nchi sio issue <laughs> unakaa yeah. unaweza kukaa miezi minne uweze toka kuna watu walikaa mwaka unaelewa sio kwa sikia ndege ya stock kwa hiyo South Africa ni nchi fulani ambayo inabidi kwa machala lakini yeah, yeah. ni market kubwa sana okay um, kwa hiyo any time 3 4 weeks mm-hmm. yeah takuwa mtani na, na na platform baada ya hapo theater baada ya hapo ni ni online obviously okay na negotiate na platform stack is tajizo platform like oh, yeah, negotiate yeah. obviously Netflix inabidi ingie tu hiyo kwa sababu <laughs> kuna mtu by the way hivi juzi yeah. tulikuwa kuna discussion hapa kana sema sasa hivi sio ufahari tena kusema kwamba movie iko Netflix sababu yeah. anasema kuna series za ajabu kabisa yeah, zimo mle ndani kwa hiyo yani sio ufahari tena kama za, ni kama tu streaming service kama Spotify unaweza ukaweka yeah, nyingo. Yeah 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ume, mm. Vile vile we should understand that is a business. Yeah. Kwa hiyo ni business. Kupata kitu kikali na kuweka Netflix inabidi ukilipia la nyingi. Mm. Maana sasa kuna mtu anaweza kaja akasema bwana mimi niwekeni for free. Oh yeah. Fresh. Sinela, kuna watu wengi wanafuata Netflix ambao wanataka tuwekee for free. Kama mimi nikiwafuata Netflix sasa hivi nikamwambia wake go in bongo na kiumeni for free atachukua. Mm. Mm-hmm. Lakini na hizo hizo makaza hazipo same yote. Uh, online ziko kwenye iTunes sasa hivi nimezitoa kidogo ah. um ziko kwenye platforms inabidi niangalie okay. but my point is that ni kwamba yeah, yeah, yeah. ni price watu wanalipia mm-hmm. na mara nyingi watu ambao wanauza Netflix kwa hela nyingi Netflix wanatangaza ah. wanauza Netflix kwa hela ndogo Netflix hawasemaje nakwambia tu iko Netflix so Netflix nayo ni brand yes umeelewa hawataki kujishusha ndio maana kufanya deal kubwa kama ile wafanya Genevieve wanaitangaza kwa mm-hmm. sehemu ni billboard mm-hmm. kwa sababu Netflix wakionekana okay, wanua vitu kwa bei mbaya na whatever uh, ma producer wengine watataka kupeleka vitu vyao Netflix sababu kumbuka Netflix ana competition mm. kuna Amazon Amazon wana hela kupita tena Netflix unajua yeah kuna hajaamua tu yani ilikuwa serious kuna Hulu kuna Disney Channel kuna HBO wana brothers mm, nao mm, mm, so mm. before watu lidharau Netflix is Hollywood nzima lidharau na bwana online ni sasa hivi wao wenyewe wanaanza online platforms yeah, hao yeah. 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 Okay. Kwa any even vitu vya ndani kidogo lakini mm-hmm. yeah ni, ni kweli ninavyosema kwamba it's not like it used to be it's okay. about umeuza kwa how much mm-hmm. au je una contract kama na, na jamaa mmoja anamjua Canada yeye ana contract ya Netflix kila mwaka ku produce movie tatu mm-hmm. kwao maana lakini hiyo ni Netflix ndio watu hela maana yeah anyway it's inge deep so oh, yeah come get deep sana napenda kujifunza sana so Uh, tunasubiria peponi uh, bila shaka baada ya wiki kadhaa itatoka swali la mwisho Ernest wakati tunasubiria hiyo peponi 
watu kwa ujuzi ulionao walitegemea ungekuja ukafanya vitu vikubwa ukabadilisha industry kwa namna unaweza wewe mm. kuna una huo tayari wa kufanya hivyo Ah sasa kubadilisha unajua nitegemea unabadilisha nini? Unajua kwa mfano mimi room nikisema nabadilisha nabadilisha nini? Natupa vitu vyote nje <laughs> na napaka rangi ya blue ya. Unajua au au nikachukua tu hii glass nikaweka glass ya wine. <laughs> Kama nikubadilisha nimekuwa nabadilisha kusema kweli. Tia yeah. movie ya going bomb. Sasa yeah. si ubadilisha hadi gani? Lakini okay. mm. obviously nataka nibadilishe more. Okay. Maneno kama hivyo nimesema tuna movie yenye rere, yeah, yeah. tuna series ambayo ni inashika duniani kama Coffee, mm, kama hivyo. Mm. kama hivyo inawezekana. Lakini kwa sasa hivi I think tunahitaji support ya bigger people okay. ya, kama governments na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa sababu wenzetu wana support na government yao. Hata kama government ya Tanzania haitoi hela lakini inaweza katupa kama signatory. Mm. Sisi tukazifata same lakini tunakuja tuna kwa kwa jina la Jamhuri ya Muungano oh, yeah, something like yeah. that unajua yes, yes. inasaidia hata ukienda madubei mawapi masa, uh, nchi za watu kukutana na investor lakini like, wewe you are certified mm. nchini kwako inasaidia hata inasaidia yeah. serious many of you okay something that they can do all other kuna hela same una us sababu kama same body utalia i think they spend a lot of money kutangaza utalia yeah, yeah, yeah. watu kama wanaweza kushirikia kwa ni, ni Tumeko, kwa mimi naona kama ushirikiano haupo. Mm. Si umeelewa ushirikiano. Ni vitu ambavyo vinawezekana ujuzi tunao kila kitu tunacho. Sasa hivi kichobakia ni last place ambayo ni finance. Okay. And finance is a big part of filmmaking. Mhm. Sababu hata filmmaker mzuri vipi kama hana hata shilingi kumi atashuti vipi vitu vyake. Ataagiza hata 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 nani atajiri vipi waigizaji? Mm. Watakula nini location? Well, you know this cuz you run this ah, kabisa unatumia unaweza kusema ah tumia hapa na kamera ya rafiki yangu lakini then ndio tutatumia tu mimi tutatumia lazima kutakuwa finance ni muhimu yeah manela kwa hiyo okay. ni upande ule baki ya seven finance tu ambao finance na kitu kimoja ambacho hicho uh, kesi kubadilika umeona vijana wengi wa Tanzania wana haraka sana ya ya kutoka yeah hiyo kitu ambacho nimegundua kwa sababu wenzetu by the time tu anatoka amesha kuwa intern same nyingi kama wewe sasa hivi hapa ninge expect kuwa na watoto watano sita wanajifunza tu mm. wametoka judaism labda wamepata degree yao wanaishi yote wanakuja tu hapa wanakuza bwana sikai uko uko vizuri yani nasaidia unajua unaweza kumtuma maji na vitu kama hivyo hizo yeah, yeah. watu na bongo 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 mtakifuata najua ni mtu sio wewe eh 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 nataka kulipa mamilioni hey, right away japo hey, ana yeah, japo hana ujuzi wote yeah, yeah. hamna ile ya kujifunza umeelewa na usipopitie hizo levels you will not appreciate to talk on the top so many levels mm-hmm. yes popitia njia ngumu uweze ku appreciate yani ule kijana wa miaka 20 hauwezi ku appreciate um position aliona yeah anaweza kaacha kwa sababu anakuwa zaidi uko kipesa zaidi hayuko kiujuzi zaidi na anakuwa je invest in okay. career yake kwa sababu kio in your 20s mimi naamini money should not be important kio kwenye 20s wewe ni mtu akujifunza mm-hmm. yule ukifika kwenye 30s una experience ya miaka kumi na unaanza kuingiza hapo. Si umeelewa? Okay. Yeah, kwa sababu you still young. Hata kama unajua unajua una, 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 ni genius baba kukunulia kamera vitu kama hivyo. Bado kuna vitu vya kujifunza ambavyo technical ambavyo wewe mpaka wewe on set ndio unaanza kujifunza. Lakini sasa uh, vijana wengi wa bongo wamekuwa nyuma sana. Umeelewa? Wote mm. wanataka kuanza kama star. Hey. Wote wanataka kuanza kama Mwaka wa kwanza tu amiliki gari. Kila mtu anataka director. Umeelewa? Mm. Mtu anataka kuanzia push push. Mtu kama director anajua anataka jo position zote kidogo ajio mtu wa wardrobe anafanya nini hasa yeah, yeah. utajuje mtu wa wardrobe anafanya nini kama hujawahi kuwa mtu wa wardrobe so, so the problem is that atujaelewa bado hii industry ndio maana tunaishia kufanya music so music ni simpler mm watu wawili wanaanza kutengeneza nyimbo unajua producer na mwana muziki imeisha hiyo na sometimes producer ndio mwana muziki yeah. kama Kanye West anafanya mwenyewe anaimba mwenyewe kwa hiyo kutaisha product yeah. ushapata product lakini ukifika kwenye mambo ku shoot music video ndio maana zinachelewa na vitu kama hivyo usha include watu tu mm. inabidi tu tuna ushirikiano kwa sababu kama tuna ushirikiano kama kila mtu anafikiria ela kutoka kwa star manela that's another challenge so the first is money the second is uh, manpower oh. manpower na ni vijana unajua hii industry ya media entertainment ni industry ya vijana kwa vijana wasipokopo willing and available mbona yeah. vitu vingi vitakwama okay yeah. okay ulisema kwamba hii ni filamu yako ya mwisho ulimaanisha nini 
I think ni filamu yangu ya mwisho kuigiza. Ah. Naweza nikaandika filamu kwa sababu right now kuna series moja naiandika na kuna movie moja naiandika na kitabu naandika. Okay. So anataka mosi niwe kwenye background mambo ah. mambo onisho ondish. Uh, niangalie kama watu wengine wanaweza kwa ukajitokeza uka, ukafanya vitu ambavyo mimi nilikuwa nafanya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I okay. think so especially kwa Tanzania. Yeah. If I do something labda ninaweza kwa Cape Town au sehemu nyingine. Mm-hmm. I think kwa Tanzania movie tatu I think is enough. Mhm. <laughs> Kongo mimi kwa sababu nimechukua muda mrefu. Oh yeah. Yeah, na mimi movie zangu zinazaga from scratch. From the idea na yandika mpaka nafika kuna produce na shoot mpaka mwisho. Kuangalia Quentin Tarantino anasema atengeza movie kumi. Mhm. Alafu baada hapo ana retire na yeye. Na Quentin Tarantino ana, ana budget open budget. Yeah. Umeelewa? <laughs> lakini ni process ndefu sana nachukua miaka ku develop kama peponi nimeandika 1 year 1 year and a half na bado mpaka tuna shoot na bado na rekebisha kwa ni ni ni, ni, ni process ndefu kidogo ambayo it takes a lot for me yani na inahitaji uvumilivu sana sio kitu cha haraka na hapo ni script tu uje yeah, yeah. na mtu akija mwenyewe anakwambia tuna shoot lini <laughs> <laughs> mtu aonaji yani movie yeye kwake ni kushoot chukua kamera na kwenda kushoot ajui kama kabla mje shoot mm. mwaka mzima hata miaka miwili e, e, kitu kinakuwa in development yeah. kama series za marekani huwa wanajiri watu ta 2 3 years back waandishi hata 12 wanakuwa wana board yao wana tupa ideas nyie mjaona kitu mjaona mm. kuna watu wanaelewa lakini kwa for example mimi nilikuwa nafanya ATV tulishoot vipindi mwaka mzima bila kwenda one Ah, Channel 5. Yeah. Mwaka mzima tumeshoot na Mariam Mutie. Mwaka mzima tumeshoot vipindi bila kwenda hewa. Atujikani mtaani lakini tuna vipindi viko store. I see. Mlipoanza yeah. kuvitoa. Eh, eh, kuna watu wanaelewa strategies yeah, yeah, lakini yeah. sio wengi. Na wengi wa investors they are not willing. Investor ana, ana project nyingi mimi nimezikataa kwa sababu mtu anakupa pressure anakuambia haya kesho nakupa hela nataka itoke service wa mwezi wa 6. Ah mm. uh, mwezi wa 7 katikati <laughs> kuna tuna launch siu product gani kwa nataka movie to, uh, movie tujianza kuiandika. Yeah yeah. Yaani <laughs> ile kitoka nafikiri kwamba ndio kitu umenielewa. So, so hakuna na I think ina tukana kwamba investors wengi bongo hawaelewi movie industry mm. hawaelewi. Kama, kama mimi ningekuwa investors siwezi kumpressure mtu kwa sababu najua ni process kidogo. Yes. Kwa sababu mimi investor nakuta bado mtoto kwenye mambo ya madini, mambo ya nini. Haielewi ile business. Kwa anaona kama ah nyi mnavukaa, si yu mna, mna develop script na chora chora tu. Si menyelewa. <laughs> <laughs> ni kweli? Mimi remember mimi nilikuwa DJ Bilkanas. Eh. Hey. Nilikuwa DJ Bilkanas zamani. Um tuko nilipo mshahara mdogo kweli. Mm. Tukaanza kulalamika. Yaani mshahara ilikuwa ni mdogo yani hata socks mtu anashinda kununua. Na hapo nakaa nyumbani. <laughs> Alafu mtu akajitokeza akasema lakini si madiji si nasikia raha mnavopiga piga mziki. Eh. Eh. Kwa hiyo mtaji kulipwa mnasikia raha. Unaam fun pale. Was na fun. Aelewe kwamba DJ inachosha. Unaweza ukaja mchana kwanza kusikiza anaweza kumepiga muziki ya CD. Oh yeah. Unasikiliza raw nzima muziki kama 300 na tafuta muziki 2 3 kwa bamba. Mhm. Siku hiyo unabidi mix ufanye nini? And it's very tiring job lakini mtu akamwambia usasikia kwa sababu haijui process. Okay. Lakini eh, angekuwa ni yeye mwenyewe alikuwa ni DJ zamani mm. understands mm-hmm. value ya DJ. Maana kama mimi mfano siku nikiwa na club yangu nitamvalue DJ kwa sababu I understand DJ. Yeah, yeah, kwa sababu umepitia kule. So it's the same. So yeah. I think kwa Marekani okay. kwa nchi za zetu Cape Town kuta mtu labda mtu labda kwa kwenye DSTV yeye mwenyewe alikuwa ni filmmaker. Mnet. Lakini huko DSTV I don't think any of them have ever made any films. Kwa hata ukija na idea mm. au elewi, they don't understand the process. Okay. I don't think that's why the Netflix ilivanza Kenya alichukua producer. Ndio akawa head of Netflix. Mm. Eh, lakini ni kutamchukua mtu ambaye hajawahi kufanya hizo shughuli, ndio anakuwa head kwenye media. Hajawahi mm. kwenye media. Yeah. Ni ngumu, ni ngumu kufanikiwa. Ni ngumu, it's yeah. supposed not their thing. Okay. Anakuja na na na, na system zake za huko alikotoka kama alikuwa ni Baria and the yeah. company Kibaria. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's the challenge about kuna. Okay. Yeah. So Ernest kuna vingi sana tunaweza kuongea mimi na wewe. Nataka nikupe nafasi ya mwisho la chochote ambacho ungependa kuongea kuhusiana na uh, peponi kinachokuja. Like kuandaa. Um kwa kifupi watu watu wasiona kama peponi ni movie yangu. Watu oh. waone peponi ni movie yetu kwa sababu oh. peponi ikifanikiwa na iko kwenye standard za kufanikiwa sasa hivi ninachohitaji ni push tu ya Tanzania. Yeah. Itaingiza ita movie nyingine kwa sababu tutaonekana tuna track record. Mhm. Umeelewa? Kwa mfano nitakupa mfano. Mimi napenda kuongea kwa mfano. Um, Sweden sawa ni sehemu ambayo wachezaji mpira wengi wanaenda 
ili wa in the Netherlands wacheze mpira ili wa in the Premier League. Ah. Umeelewa? Yaani mara nyingi mtu ni ngumu kwenda Premier League moja kwa moja. Kwa hiyo tenda nchi labda ndogo ndogo ambayo itauza mchezaji kwenda nchi kubwa ki football ambayo tenda mpaka Nigeria. Asa kwa kuwa Premier League tayari kuna wa Nigeria, wa Cameroon, wa Ghana, akija mtanzania Tanzania mdogo kama Sweden ana kwa thamini wa tele team hai trust kumuuza kwa sababu hakuna track record kwa ile Tanzania kwa Premier League. Yeah. At least right now kuna mbwana Samata so unapata example. Mm. So you mean leo so I want Peponi to be an example. Okay. Ili atafike mbali kiingia Netflix ili mtanzania mwingine akija project yake anakopwa na ah kumbe Tanzania tunaweza na quality kama hizo. Some quality ni ni ipo. Mm. Uh, ipo quality ambayo inaweza kushindana na movie yote duniani. Especially kwa South Africa Nigeria na 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 confidence hiyo. Yeah. Kwa ni kitendo cha sisi tu kuipush, kuipeleka kule ili ifungue milango kwa watu wengine na maproduza wengine waweze kupata budget. Kwa kuna maproduza wengi ambao naamini na ni budget zinazokuhamisha. Yes. Kwa siri za kibongo. Ili nao waweze kupata opportunity ya kuingia kule. Yeah. Kwa hiyo hilo ni hilo tumekuwa oh. tu supportiane mm-hmm. ili tuweze ku move kama nchi na sio kama mtu mmoja mmoja kwa sababu tukimove kama mtu mmoja mmoja tutafika pot. Okay. Yeah. Ujumbe mzuri sana kutoka kwa Ernest Takunyuza <coughs> pindi ambapo uh, filamu hii itaingia um, kuanzia kuonyesha kwenye theaters lakini vile vile platform ambayo itakuwa inapatikana. Tashia na sisi muna mwafaka utakapofika. Ernest nashukuru sana. Nimejifunza vingi mno hapa. Japo unahisi unaongea vitu vigumu lakini asio vitu na, vigumu kwa <laughs> naamini na, 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 pia <laughs> audience yangu itabielewa kwa sababu yeah, yeah. I mean huwezi kuchengesha kwenye huwezi kuchenga kwa sababu ndivyo yeah. nabidi kuongea yeah. kama tulikuwa tunaongea udaktari basi lazima tuongee hivyo yeah. au sio so nimejifunza vingi naamini pia wewe umejifunza vingi zaidi asante sana wewe unasikwa kuja hapa nashukuru na kushukuru pia wewe ambaye umekuwa nami kwenye Chill na Sky Mimi Frederick Bundala Skywalker bila shaka umejifunza mengi sana hapa. Kikubwa uh, wito leo to Ernest tafadhali. Filamu itakapotoka tuipe support iwe reference uh, kusaidia pia uh, wa, uh, producers na waigizaji wengine wa Tanzania kwamba tunaweza kwa sababu ina standard zote. So next time kwenye Chill na Sky tena kwa heri.